Give us an update as to what is transpiring now. Thank you very much, Elvis. Uh, I am coming to you now live from Duncan Village, right in the heart of this ghetto. Uh, we are at C section, to be exact. And as you can see behind me, that's a foreign owned shop. It, it belongs to a Somali national. And as you can see, it is up and running. It's open for business. And um, speaking to the locals here, yeah, the general feeling is that uh, these people are of great help to them. They say they really, really appreciate uh, their presence here. And uh, they've seen what has been happening on TV. Uh, they've seen what, what has been shot on, on, on the newspapers. And they say they are not at all happy with what they have seen. And speaking to the Som Somali shop owners themselves, they say uh, they've got a lot of brothers and um, relatives and friends that have been attacked in places like KZN and uh, Gauteng, and they say they, they feel very, very uh, threatened here as well. However, uh, the feedback they're getting from people is that um, of welcoming, and they really, really appreciate that. However, to speak more about uh, the feelings of the people on the ground, I'm now joined uh, by Umama here. I've uh, just grabbed her. She was busy doing her laundry, but she was willing to speak to us. Mama, mahalo uh, to Gunjan God. Mahalo put. All right, Mama, you come on the phone. when I zoom down, cool up at Salinum, Gavan and Clamber Banga Bonazando Zenzega was in Dow Senzega. Ting every day, Mika Kuluba, Natabanda, and I bet to Banga, Happy Masu, see Tatal in those seas, say Kutina Kubo. I get Mamma see Bamba's being a valet and I'm seven zilendo when you see Tingai. And goes the Kunga Tasala. Okay. Well, being Mama Galo, that was the uh, Mama from here, Duncan Village, C section, telling us that uh, they really, really appreciate the presence of these people and they do not like what has been happening in other provinces. And they say that when they see that happening, they think of their children who are working um, in other provinces far away from their homes and they feel what if they can be treated the way those people are being treated, that wouldn't go down well. Uh, with them. Um, so the general feeling here is that uh, of welcoming to these foreigners and also they also feel very, very, very welcome here. Um, so I'm sure the, the message that uh, the province and government is trying to, to, to push through to these people, it is indeed filtering through. And this London has got a very, very good track record as I highlighted earlier on. There's never been any incidents of uh, xenophobic attacks here, even way back in 2008 when these xenophobic attack, attacks started. East London was not part of that. With that, let's send back to you guys in Jobek. Thank you. Unati, thank you so much. That was Unati Bengose live from the Eastern Cape.